Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 12th of 2019, well, it is titled Decorating the Sky. So what do we see here? Well, this is part of the Orion region, and this is the little portion north of the belt. Usually we look south of the belt, which is the location of the Orion Nebula. But north of the belt is also still part of our Milky Way galaxy and the plane of our galaxy, where we see lots of star forming regions and a lot of different types of nebulae. And we see the three primary types of nebulae that we uh, talk about here. We can see towards the we can see towards the right hand side a reflection nebula. Now a reflection nebula occurs when dust around a hot star reflects and scatters the starlight. The dust is very good at scattering the blue light and therefore the nebula looks blue and we can see that off to the right hand side here. In the middle of the image we see a an emission nebula. An emission nebula occurs when atoms are excited by our energy from a hot star. So ultraviolet radiation will ionize the atoms or remove electrons from those atoms. And then when they recombine, they give off specific colors of light. The red color of light is associated with hydrogen gas and is the primary uh, uh, emission that it will give off when it is excited in the visible part of the spectrum. This is part of what we call Barnard's loop. Now it doesn't look like much of a loop here. But if you take a wider field image as we've seen in the past, you can see an entire loop of material around uh, the area of Orion. So it forms almost a circle around parts of the constellation of Orion and again is part of a star forming region because it is associated with those hot young stars that are needed in order to cause the gas to glow low. Now the other thing we see is an example of a dark nebula. And we see that on the left hand side. The dark nebula is again dust much as we saw with the reflection nebula. But it is denser dust. And in fact, the dust is dense enough that we cannot see through it. And it blocks out the light from material behind it. That does not mean it is dense like anything we have here on Earth. However, there are enough particles there that eventually your line of sight reaches one of those dust particles and keeps you from seeing beyond it. So even like looking through a forest when you can't see out of the forest because your line of sight would always strike a tree. It's the same kind of thing here. It doesn't mean that the trees are packed one next to the other. But as long as there is a tree wherever you look, you're not able to see out of the forest. And as long as there is a dust particle in any direction that you look, you're unable to see through the dust cloud. And within that dust cloud, you would be have stars beginning to form from some of the denser, even denser concentrations of material. Now if we look at distances, we also see that the objects on the right hand side and in the middle the reflection nebula and the emission nebula are much further away than the dark nebula on the left hand side. And in fact, they are about three times further away. And that means that if we consider that the object on the left, the dark nebulae on the left hand side are actually going to be much smaller relative to the other ones on the right. While it might look comparable to the dark nebula that we see around the emission nebula, because it is three times closer, it would also make it look bigger than it than it is for comparison. So in reality, if they were at the same distance, the one on the right would actually look a lot bigger. So here we get to see the three different types of nebulae, the reflection nebula, the emission nebula, and the dark nebula. So that was our picture of the day for December the 12th of 2019. It was titled Decorating the Sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.